everyone. I'm Karen Filiatro, a realtor with Bosley Real Estate and HomesweetKaren.com. Super privileged to be here today with this group of ladies. Uh, I was lucky enough to be able to work with all of them to buy their first properties. Um, what's, uh, what you guys all have in common is that you're all in your 20s too, or you were in your 20s when you bought your first place. So I just want to introduce everybody, and then if you all could just share how old you were when you bought your place, uh, that would be great. Uh, Susanna? I was 28. Uh, I was 23. Amazing. Haley? I was 23. Emma? 24. Hey, Benita. I was 27. You guys are awesome. Cheers to like your amazing accomplishment. So, um, one of the uh, one of the things a lot of people sort of fear, especially when they're in the 20s, is purchasing real estate and being locked down. And I, for sure, was one of those people back in the day. And I love that uh, this new generation of millennials uh, aren't following the same guidelines as like the generation before you guys. So, let's ask some questions. Um, and let's let's hear from shall we say the experts you guys in the panel today. <laughs> Um, and Suzanne, maybe you can start off. Uh, why um, why purchase? Why not just rent? Um, well, I was living at home um, before I moved out, and renting was never really an option for me. And I figure, like, with the prices that are going on in rent in this city today, it's pretty much mortgage payment anyway. So right. I might as well put my money towards something that I own. Good for you. Yeah. And when you guys started out, did you feel like you were experts uh, in, in the real <laughs> field of real estate? You knew what mortgages were and where to go and... Uh, you know what kind of layouts you were looking for and um, investment depreciation is this yeah no <laughs> <laughs> not at all actually I think that's what's great about it you learn as you go you know you learn from the people around you like you know your realtor your mortgage specialist family friends like yeah. you know it's a learning experience on its own and, and can you can you add to that like did you learn from friends did you talk to people who gone through the I did before? actually Susanna my friend um, she actually bought her place before mine so I've always wanted to do it didn't quite have the confidence yet and we met up for coffee one day and she really inspired me with her story cool. and after that I was calling you so you you know, cool. And, and you had the same similar situation, yeah. right? I was at the same St. Patrick's Day party as Emma, and we started talking about her new condo purchase. And I had so many questions for her. <laughs> and I could just picture you guys at like St. Patrick's Day. There's like beers, so house, and house. <laughs> and maybe a bit <laughs> party. <laughs> right? and such, such everyone was like drinking, and we're like in this intense conversation about real estate. <laughs> yeah. But it was kind of like critical for me and my decision to purchase that conversation, I feel. Right. Because I got home from, like, maybe not when I got home, but like, <laughs> <laughs> I definitely researched it a bit more and it seemed like a definite possibility of buying. Now you guys all purchased on your own, even though some of you were in or are in relationships. Um, uh, was that scary? And, and did you feel like that was a good move to purchase on your own? Yeah, definitely. And I think, you know, people in your life, you were young and you don't know what you're going to, you know, relationship status is always going to be, but your home's going to be there, which right. is good. And you're, you know, my boyfriend has since moved into my condo and it's like, oh, really, awesome. it's lovely, but yeah. you know, I, like, we weren't there at the time, so it was fine for me to do it on my own. Right. Anybody else? I was alone when I bought it and did it by myself, but it, for me, I was proud of that. I wasn't concerned about it. But I thought it made the process a bit easier, too, because when I was looking, I was looking at what I wanted yeah. and not what somebody else thought. Like, it's very hard trying to decide when you have two people's input. Yeah, you're in the driver's seat, right? Yeah. And you do it by yourself. <laughs> and, and same with the decor. Like, your decor in this place is amazing. Yeah, no, we're our scenes. Scenes. <laughs> uh, Yeah. <laughs> and you get to kind of do the whole thing. Now, what if say, something comes up in your future, right? Uh, you've been offered this amazing opportunity to, to relocate for your job. Or what do you do with your investment? Sam. You just lease it out. Like, you know, there's having a property doesn't hinder you from achieving, you know, going on trips or making a career change. It will always be there. Just lease it out and keep it as an investment property. Right. Favorite part of the the purchasing or, or showing process, ladies? You get to go and like pretend you live in all these places and like right. imagine your life. It's yeah. very fun. Yeah. Like playing grown up house. Grown up house. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> yeah. And also the wow factor. Like, you know, when you walk into the place that you fall in love with, it's just having that immediate reaction. Yeah. That was my favorite part. Yeah, I remember it with you mostly yeah. because we went back four times, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. But there was definitely the wow factor, yeah. right? So, sure. And how many viewings did it take? Like, uh, how many how many properties? Oh, gosh. Did you I think I must have seen anywhere from 20 to 30 units. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's quite a lot. And Emma, you were a bit different. Like three or four, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not very many at all. Yeah, but when you walk in, sometimes you just know. <laughs> I think even before we went, I, I really liked the building, and I think even before we saw it, I was pretty sure that was there. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, so, uh, uh, last question. Um, are you guys all eating macaroni and cheese these days? 
No. No. Yeah, isn't that what happens after you purchase property? No. You're a poor homeowner and you sit at home every night. And... I live right by McEwen, so I eat there a lot. Uh, <laughs> life I is still good. I a pot, so I couldn't make macaroni. <laughs> okay. The there reality is, though, the sunk costs when you're renting are almost equivalent to the sunk costs of owning. Yeah. So it's not a huge transition, I found, for, for, mm-hmm. for budgeting. And then how does it feel to own your place rather than rent your place? That makes a huge difference. So the cost is like almost equivalent, but then you have this whole satisfaction, satisfaction of owning, so... Yeah, is it the satisfaction or is that like, like I know I'm all about my home and when somebody else owns my home and is in charge of my home, that takes away from it. You don't really like it, right? put as much into it, like you're not as proud of it. Yeah. I didn't decorate as much when I was renting. Yeah. And you do now. It looks great. So, so cheers to you all. Um, uh, if you have any questions about purchasing real estate on your own, if you're in your 20s, your 30s, or even in your 40s, um, I would be happy to answer any of your questions. And I'm pretty sure this amazing panel of women um, would reach out and answer some of yours as well. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.